hey everybody welcome back to my channel or should i say welcome me back to my own channel i know i know i know that i haven't uploaded in 10 months but 2021 has been an interesting year um for me and okay so a lot has changed in 2021 it started off okay um and it ended off okay but those middle months was rough for me and my family so if you would like to know where i've been or what's been going on with me just keep on watching can anybody out there hear me Okay, so you guys, where we left off was in February 2021, I did my fashion overhaul. Okay, um, we're going to go through this really quickly. I'm not going to try to... Uh, Jesus. Okay, so I'm going to try to go through this really quickly. Um, so in February, uh, my fashion overhaul was my last uh, uh, haul that I upload of the last video that i uploaded um quickly after that we was going on vacation to orlando with my um family and um i was recording a uh video with what i was taking on my trip and what i had purchased from Shein. and i may just show you all some of the clips in another video um but with my camera it didn't record everything and because it was such a long haul I just got frustrated and I was like, you know what? Just bump it. Um, so after that, we went to vacation, went down to Orlando. We had a good time, went to a um, water park and we shouldn't have. That was the number one thing that we should have did. shouldn't have did. Um, went down there, had a good time, came back. I Before we came back, I fell a little ill. And um, I didn't know what was going on. And I was the only thing I was worried about was, was um, getting back home, making sure my children didn't miss school. And I said, oh, I'll just go to the doctor when I come back. Went to the doctor, found out, yes, that I was pregnant. Um, I had no clue. I had no clue, no inclination of anything. Um, so I found that out. Four days later, my husband tested positive for COVID. Um, me trying to take care of him, um, contracted it and I fell ill on three days later. I had the worst time uh, with COVID, the worst symptoms. I was, was the sickest out of everybody. Um, my symptoms was, of course, loss of uh, taste and smell, but that didn't come until the next following week. Um, I really had a high fever, but it was only for one day. It was like for um, 103.2 was my um, fever on that Sunday. Um, I was very fatigued, very sleepy. Um, my body ached and I could not move out of the bed. Like literally could not move out of the bed. Um, my sister had gave us some ginger tea as soon as she, we found out that my husband was sick and I had been sipping on that tea and thank God I did because it helped me with, um, the COVID pneumonia. So they thought I, they, I had shortness of breath and, um, I kept vomiting so much. I had lost of appetite. I could not drink, not even water. Um, I could not eat. Um, and I just kept vomiting, kept vomiting, vomiting so much. And I'm just going back up because I I was vomiting so much to where I was vomiting my bowels from my liver. It was just that bad. Um... I did lose some weight. I came down a few pounds. 
Um, I did go to the hospital for the shortness of breath. Um, they saw some clotting in my blood. Um, so they thought I had a blood clot in my lungs. Thank God I didn't after the CT scan. I was pregnant and I did have to tell them that um, because of the, they didn't know if they wanted to do an x-ray or a CT scan, but I had to think about me. Um, and I was like, Lord, if the baby's supposed to be here, he will be here or she will be here. And, um, so after that, I didn't have a blood clot, thank God. Um, but they did give me an inhaler, which I had to use for about a month and a half, almost two months. Um, I just prayed and prayed and prayed because I didn't want any kind of longevity um, COVID symptoms and all was well. I, I had very bad anxiety. Um, I mean, very bad. As soon as I was able to go back to work, which I was out for about a month. As soon as I was able to go back to work, um, I really couldn't hardly breathe, catch my breath. Um, being around people made my anxiety really extreme. Um, just felt like I didn't want to catch it again. Um, I really do feel like we had the Delta variant um, because that's the start. It was the start of the Delta variant um, at that time. And um, so my husband had it. He had it real bad, but he had the um, the antibody shot, which they gave him. And um, he was able to overcome it and get a little better faster than I could. Um, I was out for about three weeks. No lie three weeks and with being pregnant um the vomiting continued into all day sickness once i started getting back to myself i had all day sickness all day your girl couldn't keep nothing down this baby ain't like nothing sweet i couldn't drink nothing sweet i couldn't eat nothing sweet um crackers didn't help ginger ale didn't help None of that stuff. I couldn't have no sodas, no juice, no nothing. It was pure D water. This baby didn't want anything. Like, the only thing I could drink was pure water. And then later on, I was able to drink a body armor. Only the strawberry and banana. I don't know why, but um, what helped me was the uh, sunflower seeds with the all-day sickness. Um, I know that all that salt was bad for me, but... It was the only way I could function. So after that, that was in April and May. Um, my daughter graduated from high school. And um, she was couldn't go to her prom because she tested uh, positive still. Uh, so she missed her prom for the second go round. And she was upset about that. But yeah, it was okay. Um, so we got her graduated at the end of May. In June... Um, I'm a part of BLA, which is, um, Brunswick Local Artists. We sung on the, a song, a single called Why I Run, which was, um, run, which is on all digital platforms. So go check it out, um, and tell me what you think about it. I did post it on my page a while back, but I don't know if it's still up there, if y'all listen to it or not, but it's okay. Um, so after June... I mean, in June, we performed in Atlanta uh, for Juneteenth celebration. Uh, we did perform in Atlanta for Juneteenth. And it, we had, even though it rained all that day, we did have an amazing time. And um, let's see. I probably will upload that later. Um, it was our very first first performance. We didn't even have sound check which was horrible for artists, but I mean, we did, it. we had to do it anyway. So, um, so I'm going to probably upload that maybe, um, I think somebody, a few people had recorded it. It's on Facebook, but, um, I'll upload it on my YouTube channel. So y'all can check that out. Um, also that was in June. So June, July, July 4th, um, I don't want to tear up, but it was uh, the last time, or well, the last weekend, my mother and sister-in-law was with us 
and um, they caught the COVID. <sighs> they caught COVID. My sister-in-law got it, and the whole house had got it, and um, they got it when they got back um, to their home. Um, we was okay. They was around us, but we was fine. I guess they caught it later on after they left us. Um, but on July 17th, we lost my sister-in-law. And five days later, we lost my mother and my mother-in-law, which was like my mom. And um, she meant the world to me and my family and my children. And... My sister-in-law was my husband's only sister and all the sisters. So just know that two big pieces of the family are gone and it doesn't even seem real. Uh, to bury them both on July 29th um, was the, one of the hardest days of me and my husband's life. It's It's been a roller coaster ride, but... We're going to make it through. So you guys just pray for us. So um, I don't want to linger there. So in August, having a boy. I think we found out in June. Yes, I'm, I lied. We found out in June. I didn't announce it to everybody until August that I was pregnant. And I will insert a clip here. All right, so y'all know that I am having a boy, and um, he is the joy of our lives. Um, after my mother and sister-in-law passed, uh, my sister-in-law didn't know that I was pregnant because I was not sharing anything um, because I had a threatening miscarriage in the beginning. So I didn't want to get everybody's hopes up, but I did tell my mother and my mother-in-law, and she was so excited um, about this baby. She had dreamt about this baby like maybe five or six years before. It told me I was having a baby. I was like, no, mama, I don't want to have no more children. I have three. That's enough. But only God knows what we need and who he wants on this earth. And I'm so happy and elated that we do have my baby boy. Um, so after that, uh, September was really nothing going on. Um, still had morning sickness, stuff like that. Still dealing with that. Um, so um october 30th was my baby shower and if you follow me on tiktok you already know all this stuff you already probably have seen my baby too so um if you follow me on tiktok and also if you follow me on instagram looks by lena and you all could follow my baby baby mj aka papa uh, or we call him papa bear um uh, life with baby mj on instagram you can follow him there we have like reels um i post them on tiktok we do tiktoks and different things like that just trying to come up with different little things to you know grow the channel and uh get different sponsorships for him on me or you know <laughs> um what else so yeah october 30th i had my baby shower and after that, no. Okay, so on November the 29th, we had our pride and joy, which I had to stop and tend to because somebody was getting a little fussy. Um, our baby boy, baby NJ, who will make his little appearance right now. Hold on a second. Baby MJ, <laughs> who needs Ashley Burt, but anyway, he can do it while I'm um, still talking. So, um, yeah, this is Baby MJ. He was born on November 29th at um, 8.07 in the morning, and he was 7 pounds, 12 ounces, and he is growing by leaps and bounds. He is doing really good. Um, sleeping 
he's he gets good hours of sleep he's not sleeping like through the night because he's still an infant but we get like four hours so i would say that is good for um an infant but yeah he is very long y'all and have large feet but um yes so this is our joy even though we had to lose mom and sis um we got him and i thank god for that um he gave us joy peace and love all wrapped up in one little teensy winky body and um we are so happy it's, everybody is happy about baby mj he is a junior so that's why we call him mj or papa papa bear papa so yeah that's what's been going on with me and um we'll be doing some other videos pretty soon um our routine you know just different little things i know this is uh different i'm still gonna be doing fashion but now <laughs> we're doing some more family uh family things and um this is it so please do not forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel also follow me on instagram and tiktok at looks.bylena and also follow baby mj at on instagram at um life life with baby mj i said a pregnancy fart brain fart um life with um baby mj and he's sliding down we're gonna bring him back up but yeah um so until next time you guys i love you and we'll see you in the next video bye tell me bye bye me say bye bye